Hi and welcome back. Backtesting the MA crossover strategy. Backtesting is the process of testing a strategy on historical data set to estimate its profitability in the live market. Look at this comic strip. The professor says you should be more explicit in the step 2, which says that a miracle occurs. Now assume you have a bright trading idea. You code a strategy out of your trading idea. Next, you talk to someone how the strategy would be making loads of money for the next 5 or 10 years. What you will be missing is the step 2 that is backtesting. Without backtesting, it is not possible to validate a strategy. To code a version of the moving average strategy which can be backtested, we import 4 additional classes. That is returns, sharp, drawdown and the trades. The class template that we made for generating the signals will be exactly the same that we use for backtesting the strategy. The changes we made is to code the backtesting matrix. The returns class calculates time weighted returns for the whole portfolio. Then we attach the strategy analyzer for calculation of different metrics. The sharp ratio class is used to calculate the sharp ratio. Drawdown is used to calculate the drawdown. And trades is used to analyze the trades. Let me first run this strategy to show you the meaning of these different statistics. The top pane shows a graph with moving averages in the price data and the buy and sell signals. The bottom graph is the portfolio equity. Portfolio equity or equity shows the current money that you have in trading account. This portfolio equity graph is calculated by initial equity plus the cumulative profit or loss and any open position profit or loss. So you can see we started with the initial equity of 100,000. The first trade made some profit and then the equity went up and down according to the trades. Finally, we ended up with an equity of around 101,000. That, that means we made a profit of a little over 1000 in this entire trading period. The next very important performance metric is the max drawdown. Max drawdown means the maximum loss that the portfolio takes at any point of time. Maximum drawdown is calculated as a minimum of peaks minor troughs in the portfolio equity curve. In this graph, you can see that the maximum drawdown, that is the worst peak to trough loss, was around this time when the equity fell from 100,400 to below 100,000. The next important metric is the sharp ratio. The sharp ratio basically tells how much money you make about the benchmark rate of interest subjected to the standard deviation of your returns. If R of A is the asset return, R of B is a return on a benchmark asset such as a fixed deposit or any risk-free rate of return. We then calculate the expected value of the excess of your portfolio return over the benchmark return and divide it by the standard deviation of the portfolio return. So basically this is the mathematical formula. The sharp ratio basically tells the smoothness of the equity curve. The higher the sharp ratio the more smoother the slope of your equity curve will be. Now coming back to understanding the code. Once the key metrics are calculated, we print the other important metrics. The portfolio final equity can be calculated from the get equity method. The net trading PNL by summing up the net profit loss of all the trades. Maximum drawdown using the get max drawdown method. Analyze return using the get cumulative returns and analyze sharp ratio using the get sharp ratio. We also go on in calculating the total trade statistics. That is the average profit and loss made in every trade is calculated by taking the mean of the profit and losses. The largest winning trade calculated by taking the maximum of all profit and losses. The largest losing trade calculated by taking the minimum for all profit and losses. The average return by taking a mean of the trade returns. 
And similarly, we have the largest winning trade and the largest losing trade return. So these statistics is printed when you run the strategy. As we have already seen on the graph, the final equity was around 101,000. The net profit was a, the net profit is 1,060. A sharp ratio of 0.81 is usually considered very poor. We typically look for strategies with a sharp ratio of at least two or more. Then we also have the total trade statistics. The average money made of a single trade was 71. The largest winning trade made 905. The largest losing trade lost 190. The largest winning trade return was 11% and the largest losing trade return was 2%. All of these statistics is calculated by trading one share whenever a signal was generated. In the enter long method, I have passed one which means the quantity of shares that are bought or sold whenever a position is created. Thank you very much for listening attentively to this lecture. Over the next lectures, we will see how to backtest different strategies and how to intuitively improve them.